Welcome back, Brickmaniacs. We're here at the designer's desk of Dan Siskin going over Brickmania's newest release, the M18 Hellcat. So we have two models sitting in front of us. This is the previous version, the predecessor, and then that is the new updated kit. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to start? Well, we'll just start with the kit. I just we'll talk about a little history of the M18 yeah. Hellcat, I guess. The M18 Hellcat was actually made, uh, it's a purpose-built tank destroyer. Uh, from World War II, it was designed from the treads up as a tank destroyer. Uh, during World War II, the American military had a doctrine that tanks were not supposed to fight other tanks, that specialized vehicles, i.e. tank destroyers, would be tasked with destroying enemy tanks. And the tank destroyer doctrine means these are light, fast vehicles with a powerful gun. Uh, in this case, it's a 76 millimeter um, gun used, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a similar gun that was actually in the, in the uh, um, the later Sherman tanks. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, it has a Continental engine, super lightweight. This thing is fast. It's like it, it can like travel like 50 miles an hour. Wow. It's like a race car. It's I think it's actually designed by Pontiac. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a while since I've I've touched on the tank destroyer history, but it is an important branch of, of the U.S. Army in World War II. Um, we've made several iterations of the M18 in the past. I think it goes back to when I was using the old gray bricks pre-2005. Oh, wow, so, so a different have, color. <laughs> yeah, so I have one in my collection, an older one, and this 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 would be the second one we've done in, in the new dark gray. Mm -hmm. um, there's just certain things. We can only make 100 of them. I mean, namely, some of these bricks, this curved brick right here was just, by the time this came out, was super rare. Mm -hmm. um, this was one of my first models with the one and a half wide track links. Oh, cool. Uh, we'd just come out with these one and a half wide track links. So this is like 2015, I believe, is when this version came out. Okay. Uh, we're just getting into doing stickers, so it does have this, the stickers on here. Um, and it had a crew of four. Uh, so you have two guys that fit in the turret, two guys in the hatches. Mm -hmm. um, this thing sold out. We made 100 copies, and it sold out almost instantly, like within one or two days, which in 2015 wasn't as common as it is now. Um, so that's pretty rare for 100 kits to be gone in that that quick. So uh, that's history. Uh, we've been it's it's been highly requested, highly sought after. No kidding. Um, and um, here we are today with a new version. Very very cool. So this one comes with a crew of two. Uh, got a, got a lot of updates. You can obviously see just the difference in kind of the shapes of the model. Uh, so what what does this one you know besides the the brick arms barrel and stuff like that? What does this one bring to the table? It's kind of differentiated. Well, to? I, the, first I should say I, I don't want to take full credit for this. This is this is John Canepus. He based mm -hmm. it on my model. He used my model as a starting point, and I gave him some suggestions. Hey, let's let's take some of the you know, add some slopes to the the side of the armor, which is. You know, as you can see on on my version, that piece was not available readily at the time, so sure. it's it's a, it's a little more simplified. Uh, we're able to get the side slopes on here, the corner slopes on the front of the armor, which is kind of a hallmark of the uh, M18, which I couldn't really do back then. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, obviously John did a did a splendid job of of making these corners the way the, the shape that they should be. Okay. Um, another cool thing about it. Um, I mean, we were able to bypass this this curved brick by changing it up slightly, so we have a, um, a it's an angular brick, but it still does the same the same basic shape. Mm -hmm. So, um, we do have the brick arms barrel, as you mentioned. Yep. The the nice muzzle brake, um, which is it fits perfect. It's a great. Yeah, it looks fantastic. But I lo love the brick build look at this one, but also just kind of when you can when you can upgrade it a little bit, get that super smooth look. I mean, nothing beats that. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 awesome. I mean, it's 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 something we didn't have. We didn't have in our in our mm -hmm. in our you know our our palette, I guess back then. Um, you can actually it does have two additional hatches up in the front here. Um, so you can put a crew of four in here. Oh, let me see if I can get this hatch open. <laughs> <laughs> they just push it right into the hole. Yeah, I know they kind of pop down. So they do have opening hatches. Um, I'm just kind of a klutz. <laughs> so you can you can open the the front hatches and have you know your four guys. So you just stick the guy right in the in here and pose him with with four. It does come with two. Um, we could have put four guys in, but of course that would have added significantly to the, the price, and you don't necessarily need them. Um, and this one is, actually has a, a really good price point too, considering the fact that it is is, is a full size. I mean, it's you know comparable to something like the Sherman right, when right. it comes to size. It, it is a good price point. Um, you do get these 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 two full printed figures. So let's let's actually just take a peek yeah. of of the figure that comes with it. This is this is one of the figures that came with the original. So it's pretty plain. As you can see, there's not a whole lot going on here. We didn't print the legs or anything. We weren't even printing legs back then. I, I think they just kind of like 
that we weren't even printing ourselves. We had to ship these out to get somebody else to print for oh, us. Oh, really? So that was a, a very, exp you know, printing legs would have been very, very expensive. I think sure. we only did a, a few figures back then. <laughs> when we did print them, they were like 40 bucks a figure or something. Mm -hmm. like well, yeah, and a lot of differences, obviously, just in the detail, the uniform and everything. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a Check very this guy. complete He's figure. printed completely all the way around, under the arms, everything. So under the arms, back of the arms. So, I mean, that's the one thing that like, kind of differentiates our figures from, uh, from uh, other people doing it is we try to really print all over. We're, we're mm -hmm. able to do camouflage in places that people don't do camouflage. Uh, this guy has, he's, you can see like the wrinkles on the jacket. Right, the detail Lando's able to pack into that artwork is, is pretty outstanding and just kind of the, the realistic texture that he brings to something like that is, is I mean, it's, it's the only one doing it. <laughs> right, and, and you can see with a lot of our kits, we're transitioning away from the traditional yellow minifigures. If you look at our kits, the old kits are all yellow. And, um, you know, it, it gets in certain situations if you mix the, you know, the fig the, the figures, the older kits and the newer kits, it, it is it is very noticeable. <laughs> I, I think we're we're really trying to get away from the older generic yellow figures. Mm -hmm. We do still sell some of the the lower price figures. The, the, those yellow sure. heads are actually cheaper and easier for us to get, but we're able to you know in many cases actually print our own um, using these flesh color. Uh, not exactly easy to find, but we, mm -hmm. we, we do manage to get them. So. Um, this this model comes with one and a half wide steel track links. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really slide it across the this. surface. <laughs> but carpet carpet wise, it rolls just yeah, fine. It or does any, roll, any yeah. kind of texture will yeah. will get those to roll. Yeah, um, it, you know it has it has it has a good amount of playability. Nice sticker pack. Mm -hmm. uh, course, Super durable. Figures. Really really yep. solid model. I mean both of them are yep. so they kept that going. But yep. And uh, I should mention that the first the first batch. This is this is being released today, mm -hmm. the first batch of 100 actually did sell out <laughs> online. So if you're looking for a first batch, looking for one right up right away, you're going to have to go to one of our retail stores. So we do have a store here in Minneapolis, GHQ store, mm -hmm. and then the new Chicago store, which is actually in Schaumburg on 522 Wise Road in Schaumburg. Um, and we will soon be opening our Chantilly, Virginia, our capital store in Chantilly. Yeah. So that, they'll have some of those as well. Uh, we will have restocks available. Uh, we're planning on keeping this one in stock as mu much as we can in, in, mm -hmm. in 2019 and 2020. So should mention too that, that that's pretty much standard with all of Brickmania's hot sellers. Is that if you if you're not able to make something when it releases on Brickmania.com because it literally sold in a couple of hours, all of our retail locations get those, and they they usually sell slower than the ones that, that go online. So I mean the the best place to locate those those quick sells, those ones that, that not everyone can get their hands on, always our retail location. So right. make sure to head there. there. There have been a few cases where there's been people waiting at opening day. <laughs> I think I think the uh, first batch of lunar astronauts is particular. There were people waiting at the door when, when our employees came to open. Hey, if you got to have it, you got to have it. I can I can totally understand that. Something yeah. as awesome as this M18 Hellcat, uh, you right. know, definitely worth the wait. Right, and, and you know, when we say limited edition, we mean limited edition. So most of the kits that we've been putting out lately will be a single batch of 100 or a single batch of 50, and. This one, because the last time we did it, we only made 100. We're going to keep this one around, try to make it for all of 2020. But you also have to understand that we are a small, you know, a small facility, a small group of people making Production all these limits, yeah. right? And you know, we can only make so many batches per week. So you may not be able to get this again until sometime later in 2020, just sure. because we have our hands full. Mm -hmm. So, but obviously we pay attention to the ones that, that, that people have high demand for and whatnot, and so that's why one of these, this is one of the kits that we will try to keep in stock as much as you can, and we'll let you know when those are when those are coming back and, and you can get excited for it, and it'll be on BrickMania.com. But in the meantime, if you need one now and you want one of batch one, get over to one of the retail locations and get your hands on one because I'm sure people will be uh, will be clawing after those. <laughs> right, the perfect Christmas gift. Who want a Hellcat for yeah. the holidays? You know, this, this played a, a crucial role in the Battle of the Bulge in... Mm -hmm. um, 75th anniversary of Battle of Bulge is coming up in December. So. Doesn't it have the highest recorded number of official like tank kills in in the U.S. Army for the World War II era? It may. I, I think I, I think it had some some awesome stat like that or whatever. And then well, when, when I was doing the the product, it, research, it, it could it may well have. It, it was really didn't appear until late 1944. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean by that point it was the European theater was halfway done. But. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was an all-around great vehicle. Uh, wouldn't necessarily be a good vehicle to be in if you were being shot at. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice armor for power and speed. Right, you, unless you're rolling backwards really fast away from the enemy. So that's <laughs> kind of what you do with the ambush tactics. You you you, you hit dri run. drive a, drive ahead of the enemy, stop, hide, ambush them, then roll away as fast as you can and, and keep <laughs> repeat until the enemy is done. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Very, very cool. Anything else you want to go over? No, that's great. I, I, I just I love the way that the John updated it with all the new pieces and uh, headlights are nice, nice detail. Um, you do get a shovel, just like the original. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's a fantastic looking kit. The new M18 Hellcat uh, designed by Brickmania. Uh, John Canepo using uh, Dan's existing model to uh, to update that, and he did a fantastic job. So it's really did. So well done. Uh, with that, that is the uh, designer's desk. Make sure to head over to brickmania.com if you want more info on the M18 Hellcat.